All right, so this is a 440 big block with a stock Chrysler style distributor that I've put a Protronix ignition module in, which is buried inside the distributor cap. And there's two wires, positive and negative, that go back to a 12 volt coil, Protronix style coil. And then it just gets its ignition source from the positive side of where the ballast resistor used to be located right over here and you can see that there is no Chrysler ignition module because it's been replaced with the Protronix. There's where I'm getting my keyed source to the coil and that's it. Really super simple. Now the other thing you want to do is you see where my positive goes through the fuse block through the firewall. This wire right here, that's I've taken a drill and drilled through this and made sure that that cable runs through uninterrupted to the back side of the amp meter. This connection works loose and loses power and it also gets corroded and can cause a fire. You want to get rid of that. So that goes right to the back side of the amp meter and the amp meter is, is connected together on one side of the lug so it doesn't work anymore but it doesn't run all the voltage through the amp meter which is notorious for burning down your truck. Okay, so what we've got here is my 71 Cornet that I swapped in a 400 big block. I'm getting my ignition uh, positive from a block on the firewall. That's just keyed ignition, then it goes through a capacitor to reduce noise for the stereo, and then that positive goes right to the ignition coil. Okay, so you got positive 12 volts to the coil and that's a Protronix style 12 volt coil not the stock coil that won't work so then you've got two wires that go out from positive and negative on the coil and it routes to where I have the GM module to the back side so that's positive and negative off of the coil goes through the module and then back out to the distributor through those two plugs now I've got the module grounded right here with a bolt and then I just put a piece of electronic leftover stuff from another project to cover it up, kind of make it look uh, transformer-like. So these two wires go right back to the stock plug-in on the stock Chrysler-style distributor and that's it. You're done.